Dear all, welcome to the lecture series of High Voltage Engineering. In this session, I will be discussing one of the important numerical example related to a topic, internal discharge. You know that internal discharge is associated with one of the breakdown process in solid dielectric material. I have already explained the breakdown process which are involved in solid dielectric material such as thermal breakdown, electromechanical breakdown, etc. And also treeing and tracking also I have explained. Apart from that, uh, in the previous video, you can able to go through the brief information on internal discharge. Let me share the video link through the description box as well as I button. Anyway, I will be recalling what is the concept of internal discharge. Okay. Before that, let us read out the numerical example. Whenever you are going for insulation design, design of insulating material or dielectric material, you need to consider internal discharge. A solid dielectric specimen of dielectric constant for shown in the figure. You can able to see a rectangular piece that is a solid dielectric material or you can call it as a solid insulation material. It is having the dielectric constant that is equal to 4. The internal void has the thickness of 1 millimeter. Internally you can see a void. This is your internal void which is having the thickness of 1 millimeter. The specimen is 1 millimeter thick and subjected to a voltage of 80 volt RMS. Okay. The entire solid specimen has been subjected to a voltage of 80 kilovolt. It is in the terms of root mean square value. If the void is filled with the air, assume that the void is filled with the air and if the breakdown strength of air can be taken as 30 kV per centimeter. So what is the meaning of 30 kV per centimeter? For 1 centimeter, that particular material can be stand up to 30 kV. A beyond 30 kV breakdown will be taken. You are informed to calculate the voltage at which the internal discharge can be occurred. You are supposed to calculate the, uh, the breakdown voltage such that it will cause the internal discharge. How do you calculate? So first of all, I request you to read and understand the particular question. And if you want, you see the diagram. We have a solid dielectric material and which is having the rectangular shape there is a void or a crack that is happened inside the material that the thickness is provided uh, then the thickness of the material is also specified that overall voltage which is applied over the dielectric material operating voltage of this particular material is 80 kV assume that this is a part of a insulating material the operating voltage is 80 kV now you need to calculate the voltage at which internal discharge takes place. First of all, what you can do is, you need to understand what is an internal discharge. The internal discharges are happening due to voids or cavities, which is mainly occurring in solid dielectric material. Suppose a void is present inside the solid dielectric material, definitely there is a difference in dielectric constant. You know, the dielectric constant of void will be always less than the dielectric constant of solid dielectric material. Because of that, there is a change in electric field strength. Due to the change in electric field strength, finally it is going to expand the uh, breakdown strength. Okay. Suppose if the electric field strength of the void is higher than across the dielectric material, surely it may cause the breakdown, dielectric breakdown. Such kind of dielectric breakdown is known as internal discharge. Therefore, even under the normal working voltage, the field in the void may exceed the breakdown value. Hence, the breakdown will be occurred. This is mainly occurring due to presence of void, cavities, some cracks, etc. which are present inside the uh, insulating material or dielect solid dielectric material. So, uh, we can able to say that the dielectric breakdown is mainly occurring due to the difference in permittivity. Okay, permittivity is different for the both the media. Yeah. So, this is the way how the breakdown will be taken place. Now, let us come to the point. So, the voltage that appear across the void you have to calculate. So, we can, we, there is a formula, the voltage that appear across the void. So, this one, there is a void, okay, we will be considering a void here. Air is a dielectric medium, correct? And this is your solid dielectric material. Note on all those things. Now, we need to calculate. First of all, let us write one equation. The voltage that appear across the void. How do you calculate the voltage that appear across the void? Yeah, there is a formula. Uh, V1 is equal to, oh, V D1 divided by D1 plus epsilon 0 by epsilon 1 into D2. Now you need to substitute. So here, uh, what do we mean by D1? D1 is nothing but thickness of the void. Okay, thickness of the void is D1. Uh, D2 means 
the thickness of the solid dielectric material now how to calculate thickness of solid dielectric material uh, very simple the total thickness is 10 mm right 10 minus what is the thickness of the void that is equal to 10 minus 1 what is 10 minus 1 it is equal to 9 mm epsilon 0 you know absolute permittivity that is equal to 8.89 into 10 to the power minus 12 farad per meter epsilon 1 that is nothing but uh, the multiplication of epsilon r into epsilon 0 that is equal to 4 into epsilon 0 epsilon r means permittivity of the solid dielectric material which is already given in the question i request you to read out the question carefully so you will be getting 4 epsilon 0 now please substitute please substitute the value so v1 is equal to how we can substitute v into uh, d1 will be 1 millimeter so let me substitute immediately so that you can get an idea so v1 is nothing but uh, v into d1 that means v into 1 v whole divided by d1 means 1 plus uh, epsilon 0 into d2 epsilon 0 is how much you write as it is now i need to substitute the value epsilon 0 into uh, d2 is nothing but uh, 9 okay i'll be writing 9 divided by uh, epsilon 1 can be written as 4 epsilon 0 4 into epsilon 0 so do one thing you can cancel these two epsilon 0 each other the remaining thing will be v1 is equal to uh, v divided by uh, 1 plus 9 by 4 so please simplify okay do simplify it you know the how to simplify it properly so let me show you the answer so we'll we'll be writing v1 is equal to 4 v by 30 uh, here you need to calculate the v v you are supposed to calculate v1 is available in the question i'll show you v you are supposed to calculate that vol voltage v is responsible for internal discharge now v1 is equal to 4 v by 30 okay so what you are supposed to do is now read out the question please everybody the question says that uh, if the void is filled with the air and the breakdown strength of air can be taken as 30 kv per centimeter now better consider in terms of millimeter 30 kv per centimeter can be converted into millimeter no yeah so how we can able to write uh, the voltage at which uh, the air void of 1 millimeter thickness uh, the, that breaks down 3 kV per millimeter into 1 1 millimeter correct no 1 millimeter so that is equal to 3 kV now you convert into uh, centimeter into millimeter or and vice versa therefore we can able to write so already we have the equation what is a, what is our equation uh, V1 is equal to is equal to uh, 4, 4 V by 13 here you are supposed to calculate V, V is nothing but 13 V1 by 13 V1 by 4. Uh, now V1 we need to calculate. Now you can read the statement in the question. The voltage at which air void of 1 millimeter thickness breaks down that is equal to 3 kV into 1 mil millimeter. 1 millimeter. That is nothing but how much? Uh, 3 kV. So look at the particular question. If you are having co confusion, I will show you once again. Uh, see uh, 30 kv per centimeter no so better you convert in in terms of millimeter that means 30 kv uh, 30 kv okay 30 kv per uh, 1 centimeter means 10 millimeter right so 10 and 10 will be getting answer that is why the answer is 3 kv per millimeter i hope you understood okay once again you can go through that so you can understand the concept see the voltage at which air void of uh, 1 millimeter thickness breaks down is equal to uh, 3 kV per uh, millimeter or 10 kV 10 kV per uh, centimeter 30 kV per centimeter both are same only that should be multiplied with the thickness the thickness of the void is 1 millimeter that is nothing but 3 kV so V1 can be taken as 3 kV now do substitute straight away so once I substitute what I will get 13 into instead of V1 3 divided by 4 39 by 4 that is nothing but 9 point uh, 4 kvp this is actually the voltage at which uh, the internal discharge takes place 9.75 but the operating voltage is 80 kv rms now we can able to make a conclusion that the internal discharge appears in the sinusoidal voltage of um, 80 sin omega t kv when the voltage reaches the value of 9.75 kv here v1 voltage required to cause the breakdown in air and V means voltage for the occurrence of internal discharge. So that exactly I need to calculate. So this I have calculated. That means 
uh, V is nothing but 9.75 kV. In this session, we have discussed what do we mean by internal discharge and one simple numerical example.